This is Kirk from WinWorld, and today we're going to be installing MS-DOS 6.22. There are several different ways to start the installation, but the MS-DOS 6.22 copy that I have is bootable. So I've inserted the first setup disk, and we have booted into the operating system. As you can see, this is the first screen of the MS-DOS installation. Welcome to setup. Basically, just hit enter. However, there's a lot of other options we could explore. For instance, if we wanted to go to help, we could do that. Or, we could remove the color if we were on a system that didn't like having color. I'm actually going to go ahead and restart it so that we have the color, because watching a video without color would probably be kind of boring. <laughs> anyway, this is the first page of the installer. Now we're pretty much just going to hit enter to continue. Now, since I haven't made any partitions on my hard drive, that's the first thing MS-DOS wants to do, because obviously it needs a hard drive partition in order to install itself. So, I'm going to go ahead and let MS-DOS configure my space for me. The other option would be to exit setup, in which case you could go to another program like FDisk and go ahead and make your own partition. But I'm going to let, let MS-DOS handle the partitioning for me. Now, it wants to restart my computer, because the partition has been created. So, make sure setup disk 1's in the drive. If you were using a boot disk, you still want to make sure setup disk 1's in the drive, most likely. Go ahead and hit enter. And now, MS-DOS will format the drive. For more video content such as this, visit us online, winworldpc.com or youtube.com slash winworldabw. Alright, so our partition has been created. Now, here's your other locale settings for MS-DOS. Uh, gives you the option to change the date and time, what country you're in, and your keyboard layout. Since all that looks good, I'm going to go ahead and say these settings are correct, so I'm going to hit enter. Now, MS-DOS gives you the option of where you want to install it. This is where you advance people who wanted to put it on the D drive or something else could do that, or if you didn't want to put it in the DOS directory for some reason, I guess you could do that. I like C colon slash DOS, don't you? I think we're going to leave it there. Hit enter to continue. And we've just finished copying all the files off disk 1. Obviously, if you were on a native system, that would have taken a lot more time than it did here. I'm going to go ahead and switch the disk to number 2, and hit enter to continue. We're now copying the files off disk 2, and that finished pretty quickly. So we're going to go ahead and insert disk 3, and hit enter to continue. Alright, the installation is complete. You've been prompted to remove all disks from the floppy drive, so I'm going to go ahead and unmount the floppy, and press enter. Congratulations, you've just installed MS-DOS 6.22. At this point, if you want to restart your computer, go ahead and hit enter, or to learn more about the new MS-DOS 6.22 features, type help what's new at the command prompt. I'm going to go ahead and reboot in MS-DOS 6.22, so I'm going to hit enter to continue. And the system is now booting into DOS 6.22. For some reason, whenever I do this in a virtual machine, it freezes here, so I just restart the machine, and it seems like it'll work okay after that. Alright, so we've just installed MS-DOS 6.22. For more on how to use MS-DOS 6.22, as well as how to delete that line that has showed up right here, visit us online, winworldpc.com or youtube.com slash winworldabw. And we have a tutorial posted there as well called Exploring MS-DOS 6.22 where we'll outline that and a lot of other great features of MS-DOS. Thanks for watching. Once again, our URL is winworldpc.com.